Hello. My name is Hans George Campbell and tonight I thought I'd show you guys how to create um, like a bridge or 3D floors um, in GZ Doom Builder. I'm using GZ Doom Builder version 2.3 it seems to be very stable and everything works in it so that's the one uh, that I use okay the first thing you want to do is you want to um, well, create a new map yeah new map okay in order for this to work you want to make sure that your game configuration is set to GZ Doom Doom 2 UDMF. <clears throat> you want to make sure that your script type is ZDoom ACS script. And I will be doing scripting tutorials uh, in the near future, so stay tuned uh, for those. Make sure that the main Doom 2 IWAD is added as a resource. You can also add PK3 files if you want to. So once you have all that set up, you click on OK. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create like a room. Um, I'll put this on 32. Go up here to vertices mode and um yeah just anything for the tutorial it doesn't really matter um just anything for now okay all right <clears throat> okay so we'll okay change the ceiling height to two 56, leave the floor at zero. Brightness is a little bit too bright. I'm going to lower that. Um, and the surfaces, well, we'll do like, uh, let me see. Um, we'll do F sky, well, you know, sky texture. And for the floor, We'll do like some kind of a ground texture. Um, <clears throat> well, shoot. We got flats. Should be in a flat somewhere. Um, no, we don't want that one. I usually use that one, like for dirt. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. And so, another thing we want to do is, okay, one thing I want to do is I want to get rid of that glowing effect. I hate that glowing effect. So you hit the H key to get rid of that. Okay. So, another thing I want to do, go back into Versus mode. And, um, let's see, we're going to put a Vertex, a Versus there and I'll put one there and then I'll start drawing like that okay all righty hit delete and I want to flip that line over like that and we'll do the same thing um over here now it's important if you want your map to be optimized and stable that you draw every sector in your map the same direction either clockwise or counterclockwise but always in the same direction take it from me I've been drawing maps for Doom for since 1995, so I know what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, I usually draw in clockwise direction, all my sectors. But you can also do it 
counterclockwise if that's more comfortable um, for you. All right, because if you notice, I'm always drawing clockwise on every sector I draw. Okay, we'll delete that starting versus. We'll flip that line. And then we'll take this sector, we'll add like a water. Um, where's the water one at? Yeah, right there. Yeah, that water. Right. And we're going to drop that. Okay, ceiling height 256. Floor height, we'll drop that to 128. All right. And then we take our two line depths right there. And, um, what? the hell there should be okay what the hell is going on there let me see what's going on oh the floor is was raised <laughs> silly me silly me oh my god I haven't had my coffee yet no we want the floor height um okay we want it negative 128 okay now we should have this we'll be able to fill that in what the hell is going on here okay get rid of that uh what the hell Okay, usually when it pulls this crap, okay, because these here, they're zero, right? They should be zero. Okay, this right here, that's weird. I typed in negative 128, so I wonder why it did what it did. Okay. Alrighty, that's good. And we'll pick, I don't know, we'll pick the dirt texture, that's good. Also put it over here. Okay. So, that's good. So now, we want to draw a bridge that goes across, right? Temporarily, I'm going to put this in wireframe mode, just makes things a little bit easier. And we're going to make the bridge about, well, doesn't really matter. We're going to make it about like that. Um, yeah. About like that. And we'll flip the line depth. You have to use the F key to flip your lines. You flip your lines using the F key. Key. And I'm going to put this on 16 MP. All right, we want to give that sector a tag. So, new. So, we'll give it a sector tag of one. Okay. The next thing we got to do is we go out here. Um, and we create like a little triangle okay like that and um, I believe it's 161 it's either 161 or 160 for no it's gonna be 160 yes yeah, sector 3d floor open GL only and we want to point that to that sector, which is one. The type, uh, one means solid. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. And then we can change, um, like, the sides, what the size of the bridge is going to look like. So I usually go with... 
that there. You can use any side you want, but that looks pretty good. And it's what, 16? Okay. So, and we'll take this. Um, all right. The ceiling height is going to be one, two. Actually, no, no, no. The ceiling height is going to be zero because that's where the player is. And then the floor height is going to be, you can tell your sector height down here. Well, let's, let's make it 32 like that. And then we'll make the, okay, this is for that sector alone. Okay, so we're going to make it like, I don't know, we'll, we'll do like, um, how about craft top two? We'll do it for those two. Uh, craft top two. <clears throat> and, okay. So, this should work. Yeah. If it's working, you'll see red on your corners, like that. So then you grab this and pull it over like that. And you grab this and you pull it over like that. Now let me see if it's gonna if it's working. Let me zoom back out to 100 percent Okay, so let me see if it's working. Um yeah, it's working. That's your bridge because I'll probably make it 16 because that's how high that is. To make it look, I mean, easier to see it, what I'll do is, okay. First thing I want to do is I want to raise that up to 16. Let's see, sector height 16, right? And then these, I'm going to change it to something else, like maybe that there. And the same thing with this. That there. Okay? And then so that you can actually see that it's a, a bridge. Um, okay. Go in the line depth mode, and we're going to one, two, like that. C key clears. If you want to edit a line or a vertice, you hit the E key and it turns it red. Okay, so there's that. And you hit the C key to clear. And then you want to make sure you put your player start in here somewhere in your map. So I'll put the player start like right there. Okay. All right. And I'll give him a um, super shotgun. Why mess around? You know, just give him the super shotgun. Okay, and maybe we'll put like, um, let's see, ammunition, we'll give them a box of shells, and over here we'll give them some armor, you know, give them some green armor, okay, and over here, um, well, <clears throat> We'll put some monsters in there. How about like, I don't know, we'll put, we'll put a, uh, a couple of Hell Knights. Yeah, a couple of Hell Knights. They're always fun. They're always entertaining, don't you know? Okay. So, and 
you always want to check your map. So you go down here where the check mark is. Now, for some reason, this right here, check unused textures, that's bugged. So I usually uncheck that, but leave everything else checked, right, except these two things. And you start analysis. No errors were found, okay? Then I'll save it as test map, or let's say 3D uh, floor, or let's say, okay, bridge tutorial, like that, bridge tutorial, and we'll save it. Okay, so now we'll run it. <coughs> All throughout mode. And there you go. And you see the monsters can walk across the bridge too. See? never get hit, but sometimes I do. But see, even the monsters can walk across your bridge. And it looks good, see, and that's how you do it. I've had people ask me through the years how you do this, and so I'm going to start doing GZ Doom uh, Builder tutorials. I'm also going to be doing um, scripting tutorials. I'll show you how to do a lot of your scripting. So stay tuned for all these exciting GZ Doom Builder tutorials from me, a.k.a. the Doom Master. I have been playing Doom since it was first released in 1993. And then when Doom 2 was released, I believe that was released in, in the following year, uh, 1994. Um, that's when I started creating maps for Doom. Now my early maps even though they were above average, they're nowhere near as good as the maps are that I'm drawing today. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, stay tuned for my GZ Doom Builder tutorials. I think you'll like them. I think um, you'll enjoy them. And you'll be learning how to draw maps for Doom from one of the best. Anyway, my name is Hans George Gamble. And until next time...